Hi guys, I'm Mike with Caddy Buddy. And have you ever been out in the woods and wanted to really videotape your, your hunt or maybe uh, your shooting event? So let me show you one of our new products. We just finished this and we're pretty excited about it. This is a mount for your GoPro for all your guns, for your rifles, for your shotguns, for pick tinny rails, for even some of the pistols it will fit on. So let me show you how easy it works. It's really, really simple. To, to mount your GoPro onto this mount, you simply slide your GoPro in, you line up the hole, you take your pin, and you put it through like so. You screw it in place, and now your GoPro is lashed on nice and tight. A couple of things about this mount. One of the things is I use all stainless steel hardware. There's a captured nut in here that comes with the mount. The other thing that's really important is this little rib right here. We call it the recoil rib. It's there to <clears throat> support your camera and the housing during recoil. So this, this camera will not move. It's fixed in one location, and it always lines up with the barrel. So let me show you how easy it is now to put it on your, on your gun. You take your, your gun here, <clears throat> and you can just slide it down the barrel like so. Let's put it on the right way. You slide it down the barrel like so, and then you just reach up and you turn this thumb screw. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to tell you, get it tight like that. Once it's touching the rail, give it one more good turn, maybe a turn and a half. Okay, it's nice and tight. It fits on there really well. Do not be afraid to over tighten this thing. You will not hurt it. It's, it's <clears throat> well engineered and the, the threads in there are cut. They're not, uh, they're not a molded in thread. We actually machine the threads in. So you can't strip this thing. If you, if you strip it, you call me, I'll send you a new one. But now look, <clears throat> look how it works here. The mount itself is actually below the rib. So whenever you're shooting, whenever you're aiming, looking down the barrel, you don't have to worry about the camera being in the way. By the way, for, for those who aren't familiar with GoPro, GoPro does have um, a feature where you can put your camera on your gun either direction and the, and the video will still be right side up. Or you can flip it afterwards and most cameras work that way. So um, that's, that's how it goes on a gun and it will fit on any, any gun. It'll fit on a, everything from a BB gun to a 30 6 to a 300 Winchester Magnum to a 10 gauge shotgun. It'll fit on all those. This clamp will go from half an inch all the way up to an inch and a quarter. So you just clamp it on to anything you want, even paintball guns or spear guns or any of that kind of stuff. Some of the other things that are really cool about this, the same mount does both of these things, but I'm gonna pull up this <clears throat> seven millimeter Magnum right here, okay? You can also mount it on your scopes, right? Same exact way, put it on your scope, clamp it down, and now you can control your camera from right here and you can aim and shoot and it won't interfere with, with your scope at all, okay? So that's, that's mounting position number two. The other thing that this comes with is for all you tactical guys, okay? At the top of the mount here, there's a Picatinny rail mount, okay? So you can mount it to your ARs and your different guns. Um, one thing I would tell you is probably don't want to mount it to the barrel of an AR. They get really hot if you're shooting much competition. So use the Picatinny rails for those. But let me show you how simple it is. So in two seconds, you can have this thing on and off. Pull it off like that. It's got the Picatinny grooves on the top of it here. Just when you put it on there, just clamp it on nice and tight, okay? The beauty about this mount and the ease that it comes on and off gives you guys a lot of opportunity. You're hiking through some nasty terrains, take your camera off, throw it in your pocket so you don't have to beat your camera up on the way. When you get to wherever you want to be, just clamp it right back on and you're ready to go. In and out of cases and things like that, you can pull your cameras on and off in just a few seconds. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.